we have seen different quantities during a simple harmonic motion p is doing the simple harmonic motion now we will tabulate the graph graph for different quantities first the graph for displacement and every graph is made with help of a table like this here there are two things one is time time and other is value of uh, let us say time and the quantity and for the first we take quantity y now with t we will convert it into omega t then omega t we will place in the formula what is the formula a sin omega t and that will give us the value of y so t how we have changed t 0 t by 4 t by 2 3 upon 4 t and t this is one cycle one cycle in this omega t so omega is what omega is 2 pi upon t so 2 pi upon t multiplied by 0 0 multiplied by t by 4 so this will be pi by 2 pi by 2 is 90 degree pi by 2 then this will be t by 2 t by 2 so that will be pi and pi is 180 degree 3 by 40 that will be 270 degree in terms of pi it will be 3 upon 2 pi and when we put t here then it is 2 pi and that is 360 degree now we find a into sine omega t sine of 0 degree is 0 so 0 now a sine omega t or you can say uh, yes if 90 degree sin 90 is equal to 1 into a is a we don't need this this is a sin omega t is equal to y so this is 0 this is a at 180 degree this is again 0 sin omega t a sin omega t because this is what we call is y so this comes to be 0 a and then at 180 degree 0 at 270 degree minus a and here it is again 0 so we make a graph first on x axis we take t 0 t by 4 t by 2 3 by 4 t and t this on y axis we take y that is displacement so at 0 it is 0 at t by 4 it is maximum and this maximum value is equal to a minimum value is equal to minus a so this go to 0 plus a 0 minus a 0 so this becomes the graph why this shape why not straight shape because if we put degree by degree 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree then we will see that initially the height is more and later the height become less like sine 30 degree 0 to 90 0 to 90 make it three parts 30 60 90 sine 30 is equal to half at 30 degree it has reached half of the height so 0 to 90 at 30 60 90 at 30 it should reach half so that is why in the next 60 it is half so it comes like this this is known as sinusoidal curve or sinusoidal graph sinusoidal curve it's not a straight curve we take it degree by degree take the value and when we make we get this shape this is sinusoidal curve so this is the graph for displacement then for velocity we change the equation it is a cos omega t 
and when we make a cos omega t is equal to velocity then these values change because when t is equal to 0 omega t is equal to 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1 so this becomes velocity is whatever is a into omega cos omega t so velocity comes to be a omega maximum value so when t is equal to 0 velocity has the maximum value and what is this amplitude a omega and what is this amplitude minus a omega so when time is equal to 0 velocity is maximum that is at mean position mean this is extreme right again this is mean this is extreme left and again this is mean so this is how oscillation takes place and this is the graph of velocity you see at mean position velocity is maximum and at extreme velocity is zero okay so acceleration acceleration is proportional to displacement both have got same equation but acceleration is minus y omega square so acceleration is in opposite direction that's why when it goes up this goes down at zero both are zero at t by four both are maximum but this is positive maximum this is negative maximum so acceleration alpha is equal to a sin omega t this is omega square and negative this is acceleration while y is equal to a sin omega t so a sin omega t is here a sin omega t is here this is multiplied by omega square and the sign is negative negative means when t is changing it is going to negative value first so for the first it goes negative for the first it goes positive so otherwise both are same equation this is velocity v v is equal to a omega cos omega t and this is the cos graph please remember this is sine graph this is cos graph sine start from 0 and cos start from full value 1 okay so these are the graph for displacement velocity acceleration this is the graph we had already discussed for kinetic energy and potential energy at any time sum of the two is equal to the total energy this is total maximum energy now only one thing this is one cycle one cycle one cycle in time t here there are two cycles there are two cycles so the frequency of energy oscillation is double than the frequency of displacement and velocity oscillation because energy do not have negative part it is only positive okay so frequency of energy graph frequency of energy graph energy oscillations are double then displacement oscillations so these are the graphs of oscillation please remember it and take it into consideration now these are all the features physical features of oscillation in our day-to-day -day life do we really see oscillation and we will study now two examples of oscillation one type of oscillation in which the restoring force towards mean position always remain constant that is a pendulum so we will study pendulum when it is oscillating the second one we will study when the force keeps on changing the force towards mean position keeps on changing how calculations are done in that and that we will study oscillations in spring so next lecture we will see oscillations in pendulum thank you